What's up, everybody? It's your big bro, Joy. Welcome back to the channel. Much love and light to everybody out there. Hope everybody's having a blessed and wonderful day as usual. You know how we do over here. Thank you guys for your continued love and support and sharing your light and for uplifting the, the collective. Thank you guys so much. But today, y'all, we're going to be tapping into... Let's tap into the collective energy and see what's, what's going on. I'm going to use the fortune teller deck here, too. I'm going to get us some... Um, also, some ancestor messages. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna just freestyle you some other decks too. We're gonna see what's going on out here, what we should know about, wow, what's the energy among the collective. Uh, keep in mind that you guys, this is a collective reading, so it may not apply to every single person. I'm sure y'all know that already. I'm going to clear the energy out here and get us started. Let's start us off with an ancestor message and see what the ancestors want us to know right now. What advice do they have for us during this time for the collective? What advice y'all got for us, please? Okay, oh, okay. We have laugh and have fun. They're telling us to chill out. You know what I'm saying? Laugh and have some fun. You know, let your hair down. Smile, uh, focus on positive energy and focus on joy. You know what I'm saying? Surround yourself with people who have that same type of energy as well. You know, stop taking stuff so seriously is what I'm getting is like, you know, you have a life to live. They're already on the other side. They're like, bro, sis, son, daughter, whoever, you know what I'm saying? Like, chill out and enjoy it while you have it, because, you know, before you know it, you're going to be over here with us, chilling with us, hanging with us. You feel me? But it's like, enjoy the life that you have right now. Laugh and have fun. Enjoy it. Don't take stuff so seriously right now. OK. We also have answer the call. All right. This card says explore, travel, live. Yeah, they, they want y'all to get, they, they feel like y'all staying in the house too much. I know I've been staying in the house a lot lately. They want y'all to get y'all asses out the door, get some sun on your skin, let the wind hit you, some fresh air. Go out and explore when you, if you can, if it's safe for you guys, and live your life. Meet some new people. Talk to some new people. Talk to people who live in other countries online or whatever. Talk to hell people who, from other countries who live in your area if you can. You feel me? But I'm hearing like get out and explore. Eat some different types of food. Shop at some different types of places. Go see some different things that are around your city that you have not explored yet. You know, get out and do something. Live. I'm hearing fresh air, fresh air, fresh air. Explore. Some of y'all are going to be meeting new people as well. They're telling me right now that some you guys are going to be meeting new people. These are people above your soul tribe, right? They're guiding people to you. And these are people who are on the same wavelength, on the same frequency as you are. You feel me? And who are meant to, to share something in this, uh, sharing this life experience with you. I'm hearing open up and allow some new people in, you know? Use your discernment as well. Use your discernment and uh, use your intuition. You feel me? Trust the energy that you get from people, but don't automatically shut people out. Okay. Get in tune with nature. Yeah. Get grounded. They want you to get grounded. Uh, coexist. You feel me? Get out with nature. Go plant motherfucking gardens, some flowers. And that's what you would like doing. Go, go for a hike. If you have uh, mountains near your house. Um, yeah, put your feet on the earth, get grounded. You feel me? I'm hearing eat uh, more natural foods as well. Some of you guys need to go by a body of water. Some of y'all may be traveling by water or need to take a boat ride. Hell, go canoeing and rafting, you know, if you can. Or just chill out by the lake or chill out by the ocean. And we have half courage, strength, fearlessness, worry. You guys are warriors. Your ancestors want y'all to know that y'all are spiritual warriors in this peace. You feel me? Not only are you spiritual warriors, you are physical warriors as well. Get out half courage to live your life the way you want to live it. And to enjoy yourself and stop being such a... I'm hearing for some, somebody out there, stop being a stick in the mud, okay? Stop being a stick in the mud. Stop being so negative all the time. Stop trying to look at other people. Stop being jealous of other people living their life. Stop it. 
stop comparing yourself to other people. This is tough love here. Somebody, some y'all ain't ready to hear that, but that ain't none of my problem. Ain't, that's not my business. That's your business. That's for you to work out with your ancestors and your spirit team. You feel me? But have courage, be fearless, and show the world how strong you are. Go out and do what the fuck you want to do. As long as you're not hurting anybody, you feel me? Go out and do what you want to do. Have fun. Live your life. Smile. Do something different for a change. You feel me? Let me pull some fortune cards here. What messages do we have for the collective right now, please? You will receive a small amount of money. The vibration of an inheritance is surrounding you now. Tap in. So you guys may be receiving a small amount of money. Okay. Two, three dollars. I don't know. Shit, it could be a hundred dollars. You feel me? But either way, <laughs> either way, we should be thankful, right? Um, a proposal or offer. So y'all might be getting a proposal from somebody or some sort of offer from somebody. This, hell, somebody might ask some of y'all to marry them or to become committed with them, you know? Uh, somebody might just ask for your hand. I was going to say hand in friendship. Hell, hey, hand in friendship. Somebody might want to be your friend, you know? Somebody might want to date, start dating you. They may want to take you off the market, want to scoop you up. You feel me? In business, this could be a formal business proposal or an opportunity at work. Somebody may offer you a job. Somebody, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> Damn, they don't want me to tell you. Y'all see that? Throw a chakra. Throw a chakra. <laughs> they want you to speak up. That's what that is. They want y'all to speak up and say what the hell it is that you want. And stop just, stop being silent is what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Stop being silent. <clears throat> stop being silent and start speaking on the things that you want you feel me don't be ashamed of what it is that you want speak on it you feel me you want it ask for it and get ready to receive it we got turtles uh slowly but surely getting ahead yeah you guys are they're letting you know that you guys are are, are uh, i'm hearing slow burners right slow burner slow burner slow burner and something uh don't get frustrated be patient because I feel like things are happening slowly because they're setting up for the better for you. You know, um, it's the foundation that's being built for you is one that's solid as a rock. You feel me? We rather have the solid as a rock foundation than to move fast and have a rocky, a shaky, a faulty foundation. You feel me? You got butterfly. Things are changing for the better. You guys are going through changes right now. You might not even realize it. You may Things may even feel weird right now or up in the air right now or kind of strange or you don't know what the hell is going on, but things are changing for you for the better. More love is coming into your life. This is love for yourself and love from other people, right? People are going to be showing y'all love, right? Your ancestors are also showing you guys love as well. People are giving you support. And you're being advised to focus on self-love right now as well, okay? You guys may be, may be loving, feeling yourself right now, too. That's what you should be doing, all right? And I feel like you guys, you got somebody out there going to be getting a love offer, okay? Somebody want to make love to you. <laughs> Order in the court. Somebody want to make love to you, you feel me? Or somebody just, somebody just in love with you, you feel me? Whatever applies. Hell, I don't know. But uh, dog barking, this is advice from a friend. Somebody who you consider as a friend may give you some solid advice during this time, okay? Pay attention and be open to that advice as it comes in. Let's see what we got here. What should we know about in the collective, please? What should we know about? So you guys, um, you're being advised that it's time to do a self inventory to spot areas you need to work on and heal. I feel like it's time. Yo, you, I'm hearing, I'm getting the vibe that it is time for you guys to do some spring cleaning internally and externally, you know, even if it's not spring, who gives a fuck, but do some clean spring cleaning, um, do an inventory of who deserves a place in your life, who needs to be removed, what negative thoughts that you need to get rid of. Uh, what thoughts that you need to uh, 
apply to your life start you know applying to your life um what deep-seated beliefs no longer serve your highest good you know what beliefs you need to take on that serves your highest good that inner work you need to do because i feel like you're being advised to do this inner work so you can let go of things that have blocked you in the past okay things that block you things that are dead in dead in relationships dead in connections hell dead in jobs for some of you guys dead end living conditions i don't know it's telling you to to get away to to make it do an inventory on what is a stalemate what avenues like when i say well, it's gonna be heavily to a lot of you guys with friends and also love connections too what avenues are dead ends like um is a person in your life are you guys evolving together are you are you um growing together you feel me are you even vibing are you on the same page right are you uplifting each other if it's a no you're not then you need to let them go and move on it is what it is you feel me stop feeling sorry for yourself and don't feel sorry for other people especially if they're not being positive additions to your life some people just they're taking up space you feel me some people are taking up space move their ass out of the way so you can put somebody else so you can give somebody else a chance who wants to really be there, you feel me? Because not everybody who's around you really truly values that position that you give them in your life, you feel me? Some people you need to remove because they don't deserve that. They don't know what to do with it. They don't value it. They don't see the benefit in it. Some of them are, they may see benefit of the things that they can get from you, you know, monetarily or, you know, energetically. Or spiritually even but it needs to be an equal give and take okay you guys equal give and take it says some situation in your life is going to be healed right some of y'all if you've been having some sort of medical conditions maybe you guys are going um on the road to recovery right your situation is being healed right this is um your love life i'm hearing for some of you guys the situation is being healed to where maybe you say you know what um you gotta go I need my peace or the person acts right or the person heals themselves and stop being a hindrance in your life or you do the same thing for that person you know depending on who's who's out of control you feel me but either way there's a, a situation that your life is in right now a situation that you're in that is being healed look y'all then we just talked about this earlier we talked about you getting out meeting new people and this is social time they want you to get out and vibe with new people Meet new people. Get rid of the old people. Look, I look at life like this. I look at life like your life is like a parking lot, right? So part of your life is like a parking lot, right? You got cars in your parking lot. Those people who are in your life, are, they have cars. Some of the cars are old, but they they like old Betsy, but they work pristine, pristine condition, right? They crank up as soon as you crank them up and they heat up as soon as you put on the heater. Uh, they cool off so you put on the AC the windows work you know everything is cool right but then you got some of them cars that are hoopies that are broken down they don't crank up you got to get in jiggle something under the underneath the hood for it to crank up the AC doesn't work the heat doesn't work the engines the check engine light keeps coming on it keeps smoking you know what I'm saying it's giving you a bunch of problems one of the windows don't work it's broken it won't come down or one of the windows won't roll back up. One of the windows broken out, you feel me? Those cars, you need to call the tow truck and move them from out of your parking lot, you feel me? Y'all check the analogy, you feel me? Check the analogy. Order them in the court. Check the analogy. Y'all need to call a tow truck. That's the inventory that y'all doing, right? This is a self-inventory, which includes people that you keep around in your immediate circle as well. Have courage to move these are get to to, to 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 break ties from people and situations that do not serve your highest good call that tow truck and have them haul that hard and hoop these up out of your parking lot so that you can bring in the, the latest model cars those are new people who bring in new energy into your life who are on your same wavelength who are on your same frequency you feel me hmm it says you will receive invitations to interact with others socially, offline or online. So people are gonna be hitting you up. They wanna talk to you, they wanna chat with you, you feel me? They wanna connect with you. 
So be open to that, open to the new. Balance, your life is moving into more balance, okay? And this is balance in between work, play, health, and you having your alone time to process your own thoughts and your own feelings, okay? More balance is coming into our lives, okay? Also, it says an event, um, be on the lookout because an event, a petty event that might make you annoyed, something gets on your nerves. I think this is coming from a person, all right? You may see somebody's true colors. That's going to be their invitation for you to call that tow truck to haul their ass up out of your life, period. So if anybody is aggravating you, being petty, then you already know what to do. Put them on the list and get them up out of there, right? An unexpected visitor may arrive, okay? An unexpected visitor will arrive soon. Someone seeks you out. So somebody... Be on the lookout for some type of visitor. I don't know what the hell they want. I don't know what they want, you know? Let's pull a little, what else I got over here? Let's pull some tarot. Oh shit. All right, okay. We got Empress on the bottom of the deck. So you guys are moving into abundance. This visitor who might be coming to you might be this person coming with a love offer. Or maybe if you're not looking for love, it may be somebody coming for that friendship. You feel me? Somebody from your soul tribe. Because somebody sees you as somebody who's abundant, somebody who's beautiful. Did I say that right? Beautiful. Somebody who's prosperous. You know what I'm saying? They see you as that. You're that person to them, you know, and somebody who they could grow with, you know, somebody they, that they can involve with. In a good way, right? This is good. And then we got two of cups. So definitely, there's some sort of, like I said, you guys could, um, somebody, this person could be even coming to you guys for a job offer, okay? It depends on your situation. Some of y'all might be receiving all of the above, you feel me? Either way, these are connections coming together with two of cups, right? Somebody's in love with you. Somebody might want to uh, offer you a job. Somebody might want to be your friend. It just, it just depends on your situation. Either way, we got people coming together for a positive cause, right? This is good vibes. These are good vibrations. This is that community, a breakthrough coming into your life. Whatever roadblocks you guys have been um, having, this is that breakthrough with the Ace of Swords, right? This is the moment you've been waiting for, the light at the end of the tunnel, right? A communication you've been waiting for or, or a type of communication. Maybe you're getting back into on the scene, on the social scene and uh, meeting more people, talking to more people, right? And this is elevating you as well. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Give me one second. <laughs> so yo, that's the message for somebody. You know, it's time for y'all to get back out there. Time for y'all to talk to, meet more, meet new people, talk to somebody and whatnot, talk to new people. Yeah, Ace of Swords energy. This is that breakthrough. You're finally moving forward. You feel me? You are no longer confused about things. You are stepping into your power. Things are making sense to you now. You feel me? And then that way you, you're going to be able to, to clear out whoever you need to clear out of your life to clear out whatever you need to clear out of your life and make way for the, the new stuff that's coming in, okay? But that's what I got for you guys um, on this reading. If you like it, like the video, subscribe to the channel for more. And if this resonated, comment down in the comment section, let me know how you feel about it. Much love and light to everybody. Take care, ciao.